Hey guys, Vincent Rose here, H2G Fitness, back in the car, doing another vlog. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing a bunch of these actually, it's just an easier way to communicate with you guys, but just wanted to share real quick and uh, let you guys know, man, um, look, you do not have to beat the crap out of yourself in any way, shape, or form to succeed with this, and do not get me wrong, there are those of you that like and that enjoy beating the crap out of yourself and to be honest with you I'm one of them as well don't get me wrong I'm not uh, a pansy when it comes to the gym uh, and I'm not scared to sweat and I'm not scared to throw up some weight and I'm not scared to do some cardio though I don't enjoy it uh, the cardio part but um, look here's what I want you guys to understand look if you have a goal of doing a marathon of doing a triathlon of doing a strongman of doing something intense something that is going to require a elite an abnormal a uh significant amount of training you better train your freaking butt off because every single person that's going to be to the left and to the right of you is training just as hard and every moment that you're slacking they're not and that's your competition so if you're an athlete or if you're training like one because you want to compete then uh, train your stinking butt off man and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with being a winner and pushing yourself and overcoming and um, you know seeing what your limits are and uh, reaching your plateaus and then smashing through them bad boys nothing wrong with any of that for those of you that have no desire to do a marathon, to do a triathlon, any of these kind of things. And if you're just wanting to look good, <laughs> if you're just wanting to be diced, shredded, uh, lean, six pack, uh, vascular, and look good whenever you're at the beach or the pool or the lake during the summer, that is easy as crap. <laughs> you don't have to push yourself hard. You don't have to spend a lot of time. You don't have to uh, push yourself to the limit. You don't have to do any of that. It's not required. Losing fat is so incredibly stinking simple, and it is a light switch, and you can make it as hard as you want, which if you're training for something that you better be training hard for, then do that. But if you're not training for something that you're competing, and you just want a six pack, Make it easy. Make it simple. Don't freaking beat the snot out of yourself thinking that that is what is required to get a six pack. Because it's not. I laughed my fanny off every single day that I was doing my hour of cardio walking like a little pansy on a 15 incline holding the rails, listening to my music and my audios, my little uh, stuff that I listen to. And I'm looking to the left and right of me, and people are freaking sprinting, they're huffing, they're puffing, they're sweating, they're kicking the crap out of themselves, much like Cisco probably does every single day. And uh, here's the thing, I'm walking, they're beating the crap out of themselves, and here's the thing, I'm burning more calories than them. Yes, I'm burning more calories than them. They're running, they're jogging, they're at a speed of 7.5, they're going on a one or two incline maybe, and I'm at a 3.5 to a four on a 15 incline, and I'm dusting them from a standpoint of how many calories I'm burning. I'm smoking them, and I ain't even breathing heavy. And I'm doing it, I'm telling you guys, you can make this so incredibly simple. It is not, remember the story of the tortoise and the hare? tortoise is you know fast he's quick he's lightning quick and he can dust the tortoise and he'll work his little honey buns off and then take a rest and the tortoise is just slow steady consistent not taking a break and just tugging along chugging along chugging along and he won that bad boy i did the exact same thing watching people kill themselves in the gym and i did a minimal amount of work consistently and I smoked every single person in the gym that I work out at so much to the point that I don't even work out there anymore because I went from one of the dudes that was in the least amount of shape there 
to being one of the top two or three guys, literally, and there was nobody in there that stretched me anymore, so I decided I need to get the crap out of that gym because I hit my comfort level because I was the dude in the gym that everyone was like, oh, man, what are you doing? I was like, the heck with this. I need to go somewhere else so I can get out of my comfort zone again and be the small guy again. Anyhow, I say all that to say this. If your goal is to just flat out look good and be lean and vascular and all this kind of stuff, quit making it so freaking hard. It's four meals a day. You got to prep your meals in order to be able to do that consistently, four healthy meals a day. And it's 45 minutes of stinking cardio and or resistance training, depending on your goals. It's easy. It's simple. It's You don't have to psych yourself up. You don't have to, man, I'm going to really, 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 really get myself pumped and I'm going to go run like crazy on the treadmill today and I'm going to blah, 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 blah. That's fine. And you do that two or three days, you gas yourself out, and then you're inconsistent for another week and a half and you stay the same and not get results. And I watch it over and over, over and over and over again. Cut it out. Stop. Just be consistent. Prep some meals. Eat four healthy meals a day or one smoothie and three healthy meals a day or do what Kevin Holland does. Drink two smoothies and eat two meals a day and go do a minimal amount of work consistently, daily, and dust everybody else in the stinking gym. That's all Kevin Holland has done. I lost 40 pounds. That's great. You can chalk that up to genetics. Kevin followed the exact same regimen and he's just wrapped up month three and he's lost 30 pounds and at four months that will be over 40 pounds. He's doing the exact same thing I did. A minimum, a minimum amount of work consistently and effectively and he's dusting everybody. Don't make it harder than what it has to be because it's not. Prep your meals. Eat four good meals a day or however combination you want to do that with smoothies included. Do your little resistance training. And if your goal is just to have a six pack, walk on a freaking incline and put it at a 3.5 to 4 and you'll burn a thousand calories plus in a stinking hour. As opposed to, I'm going to psych myself out and I'm going to run 18 miles and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> have fun with that. And there's nothing wrong with that, and I'm not making fun of that. But I am making fun of that if you think you need to do that in order to lose weight. Nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing could be further from the truth. And on top of all of that, add one more thing for me. Log your food every single day on my fitness pal. At the end of the day, every day, you should know exactly how many calories that you've had, how many grams of protein, fats, and carbs you've had, and you should be able to track your macros on every single day. And that might sound like such a meticulous thing. It takes five minutes a day. Is five minutes a day worth having a six pack? Is five minutes a day worth being able to walk around strutting your stuff in the summertime when everybody else that's, you know, kind of covering and toweling up or getting in the water quickly because ah, I don't want to really show, you know, the roll and all this. And you're just walking around just, what's up? Is that worth five minutes a day? Yeah. Is it worth measuring your foods whenever you're prepping your meals? Getting a scale. And whenever you put eight ounces of chicken breast, you actually know that it's eight ounces of chicken breast because you weighed it. Yeah. It's, it's simple, 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 simple stuff that you can make it as hard or as easy as you choose. Because it's not hard. It's just how hard or how easy do you make it. Weigh your food, log and track your food, prep your food, eat good foods consistently, and do a little bit of stinking work in the gym. The name of the game is burning calories. So if I'm going to do 45 minutes of cardio, what is going to burn the most calories? Can I run for 45 minutes straight without ceasing? No, I can't. I don't have the stamina to do that. Can I walk for 45 minutes straight without ceasing? Yes, I can. And it burns calories just fine. Anyhow... I've been rolling for 9 minutes and 21 seconds. I'm going to jump off of here. But anyhow, guys, I hope this helps somewhat. And uh, I'll be leaving more of these for you. Sorry for being so long. But I appreciate you guys. I'm jacked to be partnered with you. Keep kicking butt. H2G Fitness. The future is bright. Something good is happening. Over and out.